Okay, I have promised to show you how I make my own stencils. So I am love making my own stencils because the patterns that it gives are personal and not perfect at all and also it's cheap and fun to make them. So this is a, a stencil that I made myself and I have used it a lot. So this stencil is made out of just a blister pack and then I just draw my pattern on to the blister pack and then with a craft knife or one of these knives I just cut this pattern out. And this is just plastic and then I just cut this out and it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be exact in any way you just kind of cut the different squares out in this um, particular case and there you have your stencil and then the um, uh, if you have a thinner plastic like just a plastic bag or maybe some recycled plastic something that you won't use um, you can draw a pattern on top of the plastic you can even transfer it from a picture that you print out or if you have some kind of patterns in a book or something you can make it as complicated as you want or as simple as you want so let's take something here, for example. These are quite complex, but I can do something that is just a part of this and not as complex. Make my own patterns. try different patterns some things comes out really well some things doesn't really work but here I have a pattern I can cut it out with um, uh, either a, uh, a craft knife or I when it's a soft plastic like this this I really find it much easier to cut it out with a um, A very small and sharp and pointy pair of scissors and this it's a bit time-consuming but it's kind of meditative and I get a pattern here that is very unique and that is special and no one else has and it's cheap. Okay. So you just cut out the pattern. Now I drew it in the middle of this plastic. So I need to do quite a lot of these to get a, a bigger stencil so I will do that and then I have a stencil and uh, so that's two different materials the hard uh, blister pack uh, hard plastic and the soft plastic um, okay and the other thing you can use is just paper. So um, you could take these printed papers or you can print your own um, and you can just cut out uh, the patterns in the paper. 
And when you use them as a, uh, as a stencil, you will get paint on them and you will get really, it will be kind of, um, uh, the paper will be covered in, in paint, which will make them sturdy so that you can use them many times actually. So plastic or uh, paper and you trace the pattern. Another really simple way to make a fun uh, stencil, something that you probably did as a little kid, is to take a piece of paper, any paper, but quite thin, or at least not too thick, and you fold it over into this a triangular shape and this you can try this and see what works and what kind of patterns you like okay and then you just cut different shapes into this paper you did this when you were a kid. In Sweden we call them snowflakes. I guess they have many different names and you can kind of try different patterns and see what you like. Some patterns work really well and some come out really strange and then you can cut a new one and see what you get. And also when you use this in the end you will get paint on the paper and it will be um, covered in paint and the paper will be pr protected so that you will be able to use it many times. And this will also be a very unique pattern. You can open it up a bit some patterns just in, in part of it. You can fold it again. But I won't go on. This video will be too long. But when I open this up, I have a really nice stencil. Now you won't really see it. I should have taken a darker paper maybe so you could see my stencil better. But I will show you my stencil in action. So I will put it on here. I have some dark paint here so that you will see it. And we will see how this works. Okay. So not too much paint on my makeup sponge and then I just dab on my paint through the stencil. I will make the whole thing now. Okay. See. You see that pattern? Okay, let's try that. Okay, and then I have some white paint here just to see if I can get some. I can use this other one that I did. Just put some of these in. very quick but you can see that by cutting out of paper or out of, out of plastic I can very simply simply make some really cool um, stencils so play with it and see what you come up with um, you 
will very soon kind of figure out what you like or what you don't like and uh, how much time and kind of patience you have to make your own but it really the interesting thing is that it becomes really your own patterns and it gives that little extra kind of soul to your work when you use your own stencils and your own patterns cool that was all for now so cut through plastic or paper or a blister pack happy creating <laughs>